I spent time with Microsoft in New York. Um, we took six five on the road, and I was the guinea pig. So ah. for viewers um, that aren't aware of this, we're we're expanding the six five media universe. It's no longer the Patrick uh, Moorhead and Daniel Newman show. <laughs> uh, we're going to be getting uh, more of us involved, and and I was the first. I was with Krista McComber, and we did three uh, three videos with executives there, and it was around their co-pilot for security launch, so leveraging generative AI uh, to bring uh, efficacy and, and, and better functionality within security. And, you know, it's from my perspective, it was it was quite impressive. What, what co-pilot uh, hopes to accomplish is provide incident summarization, impact analysis, uh, um, elimination of reverse engineering of scripts and, and guided response through prompt books to help customers uh, re really reduce the friction and help customers adopt generative AI, AI that much more quickly. It's a consumptive pricing model, so um, I like that aspect of it, sort of pay as you go. Yeah. And um, they're being flexible with respect to how they're delivering it. So they, there's a standalone um, version as well as an embedded version um, that that works within like the Office 365 suite and the collaboration, you know, solutions and in that sort of thing. And what I also like about it is that Microsoft is not focused on a walled garden deployment, which a lot of security companies tend to do. I mean, certainly it's going to be um, compatible with with Intra and Defender, mm -hmm. but Microsoft is also working with companies like Netscape, Valance Security. Tanium and others mm -hmm. to broaden the ecosystem and really provide access and democratize it and lower the bar with that consumptive pricing model to make it super attractive. So I don't know, Matt, maybe starting with you, I don't know if you caught the news. I, I did publish a research note on this, so our viewers can download that on the More Insights and Strategy website, but what are your thoughts here? Yeah, it's, it's when you say generative AI for security, um, this goes to I, I think about kind of, you know, at, at some point, this is the beginning to, um, oh, what's the term I used the other day? Because my terms are so cool and clever, of course. <laughs> um, they are. But kind of like a set and forget kind of mentality that folks can have, right? Um, and so starting out, I mean, great. Microsoft, I, I felt like Microsoft had come a long way in the, on the security side over the last uh, 10 to 15 years anyway. Um, when you think about all of the good work they've done, uh, and you think about um, kind of the generative nature of, of this and kind of the, I love the infusion and copilot, meaning that, you know, kind of learn as it go, learns as it goes and kind of gets better and better. The other, the other thing I love about it is the openness. And this is something that has really changed in Microsoft in the last few years. It mm -hmm. used to be, Microsoft solutions for Microsoft by Microsoft, and that's it. And if other companies want to bolt on, fantastic. But Microsoft will not open its kind of secret garden for others to enter. Um, I love the kind of openness yeah. approach that they're taking with this. But I do think this gets to some end state where it is a set and forget kind of function, right? Um, Copilot eventually becomes pilot. You don't have to really worry about it. Um, and you set, you know, kind of, um, set it, go along your way, and, and it self-learns, self-heals. It's kind of like the autonomous, we're going to talk about that in a few minutes, but the autonomous security solution over time. Um, and that, you know, I'm, I'm not, so I, I didn't catch the, the podcast, I apologize. I wasn't sure if it was a, this was a, simply a client function, or if this is, starts to apply to kind of um, server and data center as well. But if it's not, I see this quickly moving into enterprise level security beyond just clients and what you're doing on your devices. Yeah, no, it's 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 very client focused. But to your point, I think you'll see it see that broaden. Um, mm -hmm. The company was in uh, preview for over a year. Mm -hmm. The other thing I like about what Microsoft's done is they took that year to really sort of understand the feedback yeah. and really build that into the, the the GA version that that just launched just uh, this month or it's actually going to launch April 1st but um, they got ahead of it a few weeks with the announcement last week so yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, one, one thing I think they did was smart was uh, uh, they created a custom prompt book mm -hmm. and uh, different languages right. and 
Yeah. I, I think that's a really important part. I mean, uh, you know, most people probably think they know how to write a prompt, but uh, in reality, to, to write a good one, you have to understand the, uh, exactly what you need and what all the what all the links are that you can pull into it. And yeah, I think that's really a good good thing that they did. Yeah. My only feedback, Will, would have been um, do the launch on April 2nd. Don't launch a security product on April Fool's Day. 